your swearing in speech, you said, we cannot endure as a city of haves and have nots. How is the city moving on meeting your You've done your homework. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> We have to be a city, a county, a, a place, uh, a nation that's not driven by fear. Fourth fastest growing city in America, yeah. so something good right. is happening. There is economic opportunity. We have many states that are still controlled by, largely by rural mm -hmm. legislators. And there are different needs. You know, we're not one size fits all country. And this, I think, is a great challenge in America, is how do we convey that it's okay to be different. You know, we're, we're coming back here to show people that it's cool to move back here, it's safe to move back here, and I can pick anywhere in the world to raise my kids, and I picked here. What's the report card you would give the Cleveland plan at this point? Well, if, if anybody, if you're expecting to see um, uh, complete change and in in, in, in complete enlightenment in four years, it's not going to happen. This is work. We have amazing people here and amazing talent here, and I hate to hear the story of all these people leaving Phoenix because it sucks. It doesn't suck. Our economy is doing great. Our unemployment rate is below the state average. Instead of preempting us, I suggest that our friends in the legislature learn from us.